Welcome back to the D Pad. I'm Rick. This is Sonic Origins, where we're going with a, uh, a bit of a challenge here to close out our playthrough of the game, uh, which is we're going to be playing a, a mirrored, ringless Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, and boy, howdy, is it going to be rough. Technically speaking, it's not even everything that's in this game at this point. Like, there's also bonus blue spheres. I was trying to remember, there's something that you, there's something that gets unlocked when you A rank every mission. A rank or better, and I think that was what it was. It was like true blue spheres or something like that. But, we're going to be heading into mirror mode. I also don't know if this is the widescreen or standard definition version of the game in mirror mode, but... I think it would have been funny if the cutscenes, if this was mirrored too. I think that would have been a nice touch. We'll get our little intro here, just for shits and gigs. Uh, I mean, yes, it is. It's basically it's the Mania version of Blue Sphere. I don't know if it's the same courses or if it's different courses, um, but it's essentially the same one with um, God. What was it? Pink spheres and green spheres. I love the artwork they do for like the evil Sonic and Tails for that. It's so good. Yeah. All right. Best friends for about three days on um, Blue Sphere 2 there, random. Okay, all right. All right, so is it... Hmm. There we go. Okay, I was wondering, is, like, is it just on the title screen now? So now we can go to the sound test. We did up, up, down, down, up, 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 up. And here in the sound test, we have everything here. I wonder if the Sonic and Tails icons indicate that we've beaten that we've beaten it with Sonic and Tails together. Also, I guess New Blue Spheres is also just here. I think that's new artwork, too. Special stage, Blue Spheres, New Blue Spheres. So could I go to the Blue Sphere lock-on game from here as well? It's interesting. Um, as you can see, this it's a generally different layout from how Sonic 3 and Knuckles' normal thing was. We've also got Death Egg, 1, 2, and Boss, I think. The Doomsday Zone gets its own thing. We have the three different bonus stages marked out clearly. All of this stuff was accessible in... So, 1, 2, and Boss, Hidden Palace, Sky Sanctuary for Sonic, Sky Sanctuary for Knuckles. Uh, ah, thank you, I hope this works, 9,000. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, the all of this stuff was accessible, minus the new Blue Sphere, uh, in Sonic 3 and Knuckles originally, but it was like done in a really confusing way for some of them. Like I think Lava Reef was marked one, two, three, and four for the boss and for Hidden Palace. I think Sky Sanctuary did similar. I think Death Egg. I don't even know if you could go directly to the boss in Death Egg. I don't remember on that one. It is technically its own act internally. So, so the way that we're going to be doing this is we have to. Uh, uh, Use so all of the sound test codes in Sonic 3 and Knuckles are activated by uh, selecting eight songs, and the eight songs or the eight sound test you know codes for this one is zero eight times, which is stopping the music. Nice, that's a fun sound effect to go with for that. Uh, so with that. We're just going to hop directly into Angel Island Zone Act 1, and we're going to do the best we can. It's going to feel weird because it's mirrored, and I'm not going to have rings. So this is going to be a huge fucking mess. Let's do it. Here we go. I was like, oh, please give me the cutscene too. Nice. It already feels wrong slightly. I don't know why. Oh. Ah, cat politics being handled downstairs. The crime. All right, let's do this. I thought the Y button did jump in this, but I guess not. All right, so I am not going to have rings for the entirety of this game, which is going to make me feel slightly naked. Also, and I mean, we'll go down here to show it off. The big rings are also gone. There is no way to get to special stages, and you can't be supersonic, which granted, you know, you can't get 50 rings, so there was no way that was going to happen anyway. So this is going to be... I'm going to feel nervous basically the whole time because of stuff like that. Excellent. Okay. Well. 
was hoping to maybe get through Angel Island Zone without... Uh, oh, hey, the coin thing now shows more than 1,000 coins. That must have been a, a new update. People, you know, getting over... Whoops. Getting over 1,000 uh, coins and just seeing 999. It's funny that it's still kind of buggy, though. Like, you can see the multiply, like the 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 X symbol in the back there. Behind the one. I honestly... My... My sense of direction is so fucked up now. Thank you, Tails. Uh, as a result of this, ooh, checkpoint. We still got checkpoints, though. I believe the uh, the the bonus stages are gone as well. I don't think that they will actually appear. Extra life gone. Although it would have been replaced with a coin anyway. Uh, all monitors in the game are gone, so we're also not going to have shields for this entire thing. So, no rings, no shields. No invincibility, no coins. You can summon coins in debug mode. Oh, so completely break. It just totally and entirely obliterates the in-game economy then. Cool. I feel like that would have been a good thing to know about prior to uh, prior to folks pre-ordering the game. Knowing that, uh, that you could literally just cheat the, the extra currency into the game. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Does it do twice or just once? Just once, okay. Ooh, I did that a little early. Eek. Alright. There we go. Hit him a six. There we go. Alright. One act down. Like 26 to go. I don't actually know if that's accurate. Let's see, we got two acts for all... for everything in Sonic 3, so that's 12. Uh, up through Lava Reef has two, so that's 20. Hidden Palace is 21. Sky Sanctuary, 22. Death Egg Zone makes 24. And then... Uh, I guess that's it. We're not going to get the Doomsday Zone in this. So 24 in total. So we got one down... 23 to go. 12 from Sonic 3, 12 from Sonic... I was going to say Sonic 4, Sonic and Knuckles. Good lord. I'm not looking forward to eventually playing Sonic 4 again, I guess. Uh, because it is coming one of these days. We're getting... Every day we get closer to the official Super Sonic Let's Play series for Sonic 4. And it's going to be a bad time. Ooh. Oh! God damn it. I'm also realizing... I don't know if the sound is synced up for this for you guys this time either. So major apologies if that's the case. Uh, it will be annoying in the moment. I will fix it in post. Uh, Sonic 4 is has problems. Boring is definitely one of them. I don't know why, but it feels so hollow. Um, oh, I went in there. There's no monitors. It feels extremely hollow and soulless. And I think it's got to do with, like, everything feels, like, sort of plasticky. The textures are, like, weirdly shiny, so everything has this weird, like, plastic aesthetic to it. The music is terrible. The music is really, really bad. Uh, this feels so weird going left for this bit. Uh, and also the physics are just broken as shit in Sonic 4. They are wrong, wrong, wrong. The, uh, the... Bang and bang. The, um... Oh, my voice matches my face. That's good at least. That'll make that a little bit, a little bit easier. Oh, my hair is a mess today. I don't know why my hair is so dumb looking today. All right, because it looks dumb every day. There we go. It's like the boss rush all over again. Oh, shit. There we go. Good shot, Tails. You did it, buddy. <laughs> Ugh, there we go. All right. Boom, 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 boom.
right. I don't know of a really good way to solve this live. If I can, perhaps there will be a point where there's a big enough like cutscene that I can. I guess uh, in the worst case during launch base I can futz with it a bit. Oh, this level's gonna blow! All these levels are gonna blow. Who am I kidding? Oh, oh, that was mean. I thought I could get the jump in time. Alright. Does it seem like I'm synced up with the music at all? I guess not. If I if the if my face is matched up with my why am I going left? Ugh. Or why am I not going left? Oh, that was a checkpoint. I would have liked that. Ooh, the mid boss here is gonna be not a fun time. Whoa. Oh, that would have been mean. Oh. Oh, thank God we got the checkpoint for this. Well, this is going to be really not good. Ugh. Thank you, Tails. Ah, oh, you tried, buddy. Hey, all right, that wasn't too bad. Boing. All right. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's go. so wrong. It feels so wrong. I keep forgetting that I think I do have the drop dash in this. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Doesn't work super well in tight quarters. Is there a dude here? No. Alright. Oh, hey. They don't have eyes. Oh god. I guess I'm gonna just do this now. Oh, alright, we're going under. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, right. I think I think for uh what was it? For Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, it's programmed incorrectly in a way where uh well not incorrectly, but it's like Essentially, you have one frame where it stops Sonic dead, and then... Ooh, interesting. And then another frame where... Uh, I really want to get in there, but I don't know if I can as... Actually, what am I doing? Hang on. Yeah, so I guess there's normally a monitor in there. All right. Um, yeah, in Sonic 1, CD, and 2, it's stop Sonic dead for one frame, and then... He spin dashes for one frame, and then he lets go and moves forward. 
Whereas in this one, I think it's just you touch the ground and you go. Which, like, honestly indicates to me that, like, this was definitely something... I, I would be very surprised if Headcanon was actually involved with that specific part of it. They, they were basically tasked to do Sonic 3 and Knuckles outside the scope of Sonic Origins, and then, like, Sega themselves handled, like, everything else, basically. Or Sonic Team, rather. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if that was their low-tech way of, of bringing the Drop Dash into Sonic 1, CD, and 2. Come on, game, you can do it. Yes, there we go. Stop you from turning around when you were rolling, but an Origins also stops you from turning around with a drop dash. Stop you turn around when you were rolling. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Oh! Fuck me, I missed it by literally like a pixel and a frame. Oh, this sent me really far back. That's... Mm. I should have just landed. That was dumb. That was not worth the risk. Ah, bummer. All right. Time to roll around in a tube. Alright, forget that guy. Oh no, Tails, you missed the bus! I debated putting a speedrun timer, damn it, down for this one, and then I and I was like, nah. But it would be good to have a vague idea. I want to say we're about 14 minutes in. I think we started around 1026, and it's 1040 right now. Ah, here we go. There we go. Oh. All right, that went a little differently. There we go. Isn't there one more? Yeah. Oh my god. All right, we got the checkpoint. Uh. Jumping on tubes right next to spikes now. Whoa! I don't remember. I don't remember skidding off the side of the screen in Hydra City Zone before. Oh no! Ah. I think I want to go left, don't I? Oh, we're literally right here. Nice. Headbang a little bit. Ah, fuck. All right, time to fight, Mr. Gman. I didn't even... I was wondering during the Knuckles boss rush. So, a subtle difference between... Uh, Robotnik and Eggman Robo is that in when you fight Robotnik, he actually comes down to pull the water up, but Eggman Robo does not. He just spins in place and the water just comes up to him. Neato. Oh boy, time to remember which spikes are fake. Oh, 
Oh, God, there's so many things all over the place here. I love doing the flying bean. Is there an actual difference? I feel like I just memorized after a while which ones were fake and which ones were real. Um, well, that doesn't seem normal. I guess it's just rock, rain, a clock. Yup, it sure is rock, rain, a clock here today. Check my weather app. It said rock, rain. At some point on the clock. Oh, God. Huh. Oh, okay. There's at least one spot in this zone where uh where riding that all the way to the side will get you hurt. Though I can't remember if it counts as damage or not. It might just it might just count as uh as like knocking you off the the I keep calling I always know it as a yo-yo, which is weird because it's a top. And I guess the robotic ones are like a darker gray. Like the gradient is darker. Just overall. So usually a giant ring there. Is there a thing down there? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> did that throw me all the way back? I think it did. Oh. You rat bastard. Oh, hey, the rock rain stopped. When did that happen? I legit didn't even notice when it stopped. Go this way. Haha, -ha, game. I'll take the funnel however I please. There we go. Doing. Rat a doing. Alright, get you out of here. Wow, really? It did it again? Oh my god. Come on now, game. This is just embarrassing. I figured before it was just a freak accident of like, oh, we just managed to, like... Did I really not jump early enough? Oh my god. Uh... I figured the first time around that it was just like, oh, we, we must have, like, hit him at the exact frame where some other trigger happened and it just lost, you know, whatever it needed to, to, to do its thing. Uh, but like, nope, that just seems to be a, a prevalent bug. There we go. There we go. Yep, rocks fall, everyone dies. Uh, yep, this is the no the no ring mode. Uh, does it actually have other differences to it? Like we so so mirror mode normally does have rings. I also used the no rings code, which is you go to level select and then you hit zero 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 zero, and all rings go away. Uh, all monitors too. All special stages. All bonus stages. Basically anything that could potentially help Sonic out is gone. Uh, well, let's keep going. Oh, God, it was right there the whole time, too. It has now been almost a minute, and we still have rocks falling. Those big spike balls are the thing I think I'm the most worried about, just because... Like, they're a pain in the ass normally, let alone when you don't have rings and your sense of direction is messed up. 
That's a good question. I, I don't, you know, recognize that path generally because I don't tend to go that direction most of the time. Uh, my bearings are definitely, like, off right now. Ugh. Like, I certainly do not feel like I... Come on now. Really? Okay. I, if, if they had, like, at least a vague sound effect of crumbling rock to go along with it, I think I would like it more. But otherwise, it just, it's just an obvious kind of like, yep, that's a bug, you know? right this time. Oh, God damn. Give me a break. I jumped in the land. Uh, this does definitely feel different. Like, I don't know if I've just gone a complete... I must have just gone a totally different path from where, from where I normally go. As Sonic, anyway, because so Marble Garden Zone is kind of—it's not unique, but it is certainly, uh, at least as far as I've been able to tell, the the biggest example of you know the divergent gameplay of the three playable characters, where Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all have decidedly different paths they can all take. There, goddamn. Oh, fuck me! Holy shit! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh, that's gonna be a tricky one. I'm gonna hit the ceiling if I go over it there. <sighs> Bullshit! What? Oh, that's a good... That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Those orange highlights definitely... Make it look like it's it's over like some convective surface like lava. Do -do -do. And also, what's going to make this kind of tricky too is by this point in the game, more often than not, I've got supersonic somewhere in this zone, and I just kind of start zoning out. No pun intended, or maybe it is. Uh, and, like, sort of stop paying attention to the level design. How the hell am I gonna... Alright. Nope. I could go up, but I don't know if up is good. There we go. Okay. Please give me another... Please give me another checkpoint somewhere. Nice. Oh, that looks like it got more frames. A little pillar there. Okay. Oh, good. More of this. Is this going to be where the thing happens? gonna jump off here. Oh, damn it. Nope, got it wrong. Fuck. Is there gonna be another... Kind of that way? Oh, good. I'm glad that I could find the worst possible path through the level. What? Okay, that's... I guess that's something for Knuckles, or... Hmm. 
Alright, whatever, let's go. Okay. Also, a bunch of these just empty zones used to house, like, monitors and rings and stuff, so... Whoop. Nope, okay. Alright. Oh, thank Christ. All right. Oh, oh wow. We're adding all the gondolas in HCZ. Oh, and Hydra City Zone. Oh, that's cute. Ugh. I don't have a shield or rings to make this less awful. Tails, you want to help, maybe? Thank you. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely, like, I, I can feel, like, my bearings being totally off, and not having rings at all makes it just much more of an anxiety-driven adventure. Because any mistake just means death. Stay on the ground. If it comes from, there it is. Bye. We're gonna get rocks. Oh no, that's right, because this is this is Ooh, like a thing that goes on here with the uh... I accidentally made it through a path that I like never do in normal ass in the normal ass version of this. But granted, if I go through there, I think I will wind up oh come on uh um oh god damn it single ring at each checkpoint yeah exactly yeah being able to uh do the the uh the um drop dash makes that a much easier thing to do that I, and I'm sure that I'm not going to get it on this second attempt either. There we go. Aha. Right, let's not fuck it up this time. Whoop, missed entirely. Ooh. Uh, okay. There's a path that went up. Oh, shit. Distracted by Goge clawing. At the stairs. Hi. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. Uh, go, 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 go. Yes. No, really? Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. So that answers that question. That's good to know. I was super, super worried that I was just gonna die from running into something on the on the top. That is not the case. Ugh. Oh God! I thought I was gonna drop dash directly into the bullet. Oh fuck! Oh my God! Yeah, the spinning top's the one shield that I get in this entire experience. I'll be very happy to be out of this zone and away from the uh, the spike balls for a while. Oh, nice. I get to be away from them for, uh, for another seven zones. Ugh! <laughs> 
Oh, forgot about the ones that hide in the grass. Right. Oh, you. All right. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. But with shields, I mean, your sage knowledge could buy an extra hit. Yeah, that would be kind of nice, being able to have one non-replenishable hit point. Hey, thank you, Nanocarp. Holy cow, four years? Holy shit, you're right, 48 months. Thank you so much. Goddamn. What was that sprawling for? Uh. Oh, shit. I realized, like, right as I got to him, I was like, hey, wait a sec. Uh, nice. Uh, I think there's another one on this side. Nope, I'm mixing up with a different spot. Boss time, I believe. Here we go. Or at least... You know, revealing the boss. Uh, oh! Ah! Whoop! Don't mind me. Oof. Hey! I thought we... I thought we went straight into the boss, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, there's something so weird and off-putting about playing this game essentially backwards. All right, we got six in. So we'll be pretty close. I might even be able to do it in one. Well, all right, maybe not. Okay. There we go. Yeah! Kaboom. It's actually, in some ways, harder than boss rush mode because boss rush mode occasionally gives you rings for some reason. Alright, time for bad music. Not like I exactly loved the original Carnival Night Zone music, but... This feels so off-brand and weird. There's gonna be a lot more running blind in this level. Oh, the claps are so bad. Like I know they're meant to be they're meant to be uh on the upbeats, but like fuck me. Oh shit, nope. Let's just do it this way. Ta da Ooh. Oh, fuck. There we go. Yep. And off we go! To the races! Did not mean to go down here. Oh! Boy, oh boy, boy. Oh! Double shit. Well. Right. 
Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I had a chance to jump at the end of that, but I guess not. What just killed me? I legit have no idea what just killed me. It sounded like... It sounded like spikes, but... Okay, whatever it was just killed Tails, I guess. What the fuck? So weird. Yeah, I guess I got killed by death. I've experienced the, f the curse of fatal death myself. Start the end of level. Uh, the entire thing is left, right, mirrored. It'd be cool. It'd be neat if you could start from the end and go and go backwards, but. I feel like a decent number of uh, of stage elements and hazards would have to be would have to be tweaked to make that work. All right. Ooh, is it already time? It's already time. This one's just gonna be a pain in the ass without rings. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, nice. Well, thanks, Tails. Up down mirror would be interesting. I don't know how that would. How that would even. Uh oh. Because of the way we died, the pallet's frozen. That's. Oh. We're fighting the silver mid boss. It kept him from. Really, game? Really? Well, I mean, whatever, but like... It straight up shielded him. It like locked him in the damaged state until he got hit. And then he didn't get damaged, it just unset the state. God damn it. This is so buggy. Oh, that's not a good place to be. Uh... Fuck. I was hoping I could do a quick little insta-shield thing. I mean, in an ideal situation, you just kind of... Oh, son of a bitch. You kind of just get him stuck in the corner and you hit him enough that he just kind of never comes out of his, like, weak, uh, like his uh, vulnerable state and just gets hit. Bang, 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 bang. God damn. It happened again. Amazing. Ooh, that's not a great... Fuck, I forgot that that did that. Oh... Spike is it Donald? Oh man. I legit wasn't even expecting the first hit to work, so I didn't move out of the way. This is more or less how you want to handle him. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, goddamn. Ugh. Oh, boy. Could you fucking just hit him, please? Jesus Christ. I got a little hairy. Boom. Landed him right in front of the signpost. 
Mega boss. Or mid boss. Yeah, not having supersonic or rings makes that kind of blow a lot. Certainly the longest I've ever spent on that fight. Oh, okay, forgot. I thought this was the spot that had the spikes on it. Uh. Oh, really? I thought I had enough to, to get over there. <sighs> You're almost as fast as me, buddy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. It'd keep going, too, but then it just loops back around to the start, which we don't really want. I wasn't even paying attention because I was I was looking over this way. Whoops. SHC. It can mean a lot of things, and I wasn't super paying attention to what it was in response to. Oh, Sonic Head Cannon. I feel, like, I feel like Shadow is more of just a, you know... Oh, the Sonic Hacking Contest. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was what you meant, because that was admittedly the first thing that came to mind. And I was like, oh, the context didn't feel right for that just out of nowhere. But, haha, my brain was not in the wrong place. I don't trust going right right now. Uh, oh, right, this. Made substantially harder by Tails being a dumbass. But yeah, Silver's just a just a a little a little overzealous and, and head empty guy. Oh, thanks, Tails. Great job, buddy. Oh my God. I guess I could just fly up. Oh, all right, there we go. Let's just wait this one out. There we go. Like this does this song doesn't blow, but it just doesn't feel right for this zone. This feels more like a th this would be like ironically if this was if this was done for new, uh, the the main area of New Tragic High Zone, aka Knuckles Chaotix, I could see that fitting. It feels like it feels like a an island city at night situation, which like isn't totally off, but it definitely doesn't feel cas like I keep saying casino, carnivaly, you know. We haven't even gotten to the lights out portion of this stage yet. Nice. Hey, speaking of which, you bitch. Yeah, it does feel kind of all over the place. Also, woof, that was a rough uh, palette change there. Alright. Let's grab one of these bad boys. Run in place. I know you want to. Whoa! There we go. Okay, Tails, I get it. Freedom. I want to see John try this challenge and then tell me that Sonic games are all about going fast and nothing else.
Oh! Gonna let that go for a sec there. Yeah, I don't know. This just sounds like two player music. It just doesn't quite. Oh, fuck me. Couldn't turn around in time. Like, if this was. Oh, fuck. All the way back there? Jesus. If this was the, uh, the balloon park theme, that would feel fine to me. That would feel relatively fitting. I think the one that they wound up with was good, too, but. That go. Oh boy. Mm. Well, that was a mistake. There we go. Do, do, do. Oh boy. Hey, is the water ever gonna? Thank you. Mm. There we go. Oh my God, tails, stop. Thank God. I feel like Sonic 2 is slightly crueler with its enemy placements than Sonic 3 is. I don't know. That could be just entirely based on nothing, too. Right. Oh, no, no, no! I was trying to get out of there, but... I was mostly just trying to stay out of the way of the spike ball, because I decided to run out in front of it. So that was kind of a, a dumb call on my part. Oh boy, that was risky as shit. Oh fuck! Ugh, alright. me. Oh. There we go. That's all I was trying to do. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Let's wait for it this time. Damn, it really sped me up there. I was holding left for that, too. You know. Wouldn't mind another uh, checkpoint somewhere. Maybe that's just me. Where the uh, the lights, yeah, the lights, do their thing here. That spot, which is rather glitchy in my experience, I've definitely gotten killed randomly by those those spikes. If you're like not definitely in a ball, then you'll be tall enough to die. And sometimes even as a ball, I've I've gotten kind of fucked there. The barrel of doom, ladies and gentlemen, the barrel of doom to bring you gloom. And there we go. The evil has been defeated. Excuse you? What? Oh my 
my god. Not loving that I apparently have to be aware of just, like, random shit that will glitch out to kill me. for this one? Alright. Getting another uh, checkpoint soon here. Right. There we go. Tails is going through backwards. That's fun. Okay, I was like, I hope we don't fucking glitch through shit from uh, from flying through that fucking fast. Nope, this way, right. Finally. I'll go ahead and do this. Got four hits in. How come I slide faster than Tails does? There we go. Goodbye. Cha-cha! Yeehaw! Alright, let's rock. Yeah, no, definitely, uh... Oh, it's gonna be weird. We're snowboarding left, too! This is just a nice little cutscene now. Boom. Alright. That is going to suck. Mm. I used to think in my, in my mind that these little things I'm standing on were pressure plates for those. As opposed to them just being generally, like, proximity-based. Whoop. That's it. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, thematically. It just doesn't feel right at all. There's so many rings up here, and there was the electric shield, and they're all gone. There's a code to have every enemy in the game replaced with these dudes. The, the penguinators. There's also a, uh, a, a new code that uh, throws banana... that turns every monitor into banana peel generating... Ugh. Monitors. For, for reasons. Oh, that almost crushed me. Alright. Hmm. Alright. I'm just so nervous now. Now let's push it real good time, I think. Oh, nope. I missed my... my off-ramp up there. Ah, not one of these. Alright. Is he 
even reach low enough? It probably does. Here we go. Get a checkpoint in time for us to pu push it real good. Pu push it real good. All right. What's oh, right? I'm gonna have the mini boss here. It's uh, who's basically the junior version of the Metropolis boss. If anything, uh, for anyone who's been keeping up with, uh, with my streams in general, it's gonna be more like, uh, the Miracle Matter boss fights, uh, Ice Form. Ugh. Oh god, I hate this a lot. <gasps> How did I miss with the insta shield on that? Wow. Dang, a dangy dang. Ooh, that was extremely lucky. Fuck, I moved just a little too much to the right there. Ah. I was an itch on my back. Alright. Oh, yeah, that is a fun one in the back there. I forget if... Yeah, okay, I was like, can Tails actually... Can I cheese this a little bit? Oh, I can just send him, too, if I intentionally miss. I can just send him to do that. That's great. Fucking hilarious. He goes just high enough to be out of Sonic's reach, but with the power of friendship, we can fuck him up anyway. Oh, it's totally cheating, but the game's cheating itself, so... So fuck it! Rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, whoop. There we go. I forget what's even up here. Whoop. I'll oh, just do that. All right. Oh, every enemy makes me nervous. Oh, uh, now. Do I want to go this way? Mm. Oh, actually, what's up? Ooh. Nope. Come on back, Tails. Yeah, being outside more in Act 2 is definitely a nice plus. Although, I think you can wind up being underground and underwater for a good chunk of Act 2 also. Penguins everywhere. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of underground... And we're done. There we go. Yeehaw! Aww. Screw it, we're going up. Come on, Tails, let's go. Well, that seemed different. 
We just fucking moon jumped. I didn't know that was an option. Oh, we didn't have a we didn't have a checkpoint before the end of this. You're gonna be doing a lot of extra work for me here, Tails. Whoop. See, now he seems to be. Hey, thank you, Jeff Cubed. Thank you very much. Oh fuck! Turn this way. Do it. Yeah, that's right, you coward. There you go. Whoo! But hello, hello, and thank you, Jeff Cubed. Whoops. Oh my god. There we go. But yeah, Sonic Three. Sonic Three definitely seems to have a lot more of like undergroundy kind of things and cavernous sort of zones, where it definitely seems like Sonic. Uh, Sonic 2 is almost entirely outside unless you're in, like, factory zones. Like, Chemical Plant Zone, Death Egg Zone, obviously, um, Metropolis Zone. Which, to be fair, is three of the game's 12 zones, so... Is, there, is it 12 or is it 10? 11. It's 11 zones, so I was wrong on all accounts. And all counts. Right. Yeah, Mystic Cave. Mystic Cave. I suppose you could you could uh, make an argument for being entirely underground. I think, right? Hilltop has some has some definite cavey zones. Uh, Emerald Hill has like short sections that go like inside, but not for very long. Eek! Just get out of my face. I have no idea what my brain thinks of with this music. I think my brain wants to fill it in with, like, pilot wings or something. Or, like, Top Gun or something. Like, you're about to set off on a mission, but you're, like, a, an Air Force or Navy pilot or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that you can actually get those out. Yeah, something about them, like, there's no intensity to any of them. Also, this is like an intro chunk. This should not be part of the repetition at all. That bit, the bum bum ba da 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 ba da that little f military fanfare does not belong in the repeated portion of the song at all. Like, that's very much the portion that is the intro that gets skipped. Right, this section is very much useless. I forgot about that. We do want to go down. Ooh, boy. Oh! <laughs> it's like choke myself on my own gasp. It was like, I'm pretty sure we've had a fucking checkpoint by now. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, like, the zone is, for all intents and purposes, meant to be essentially the same vibe as uh, Wing Fortress zone and a little bit of sky chase to it as well. So, like, that's not wrong for it to have that vibe to it, but I think it would be more appropriate if we actually took to the sky. I don't know why, but my brain is... Whew, my brain is, like, super fixated on the idea of this being something where you're expecting to be flying at some portion. I don't know why. This is just what my brain has gone with. Ooh. Oh, God. Give me that. 
<laughs> yeah. There's been a couple uh, very rapid deaths so far. Oh! Laser gates only in Act 2? Oh yeah, no. Flying Battery is definitely, like, way more firmly Wing Fortress vibes. Uh, though this one definitely has elements of it, too. So my headcanon has always been that the... the ship that you, that is like trying to bomb Angel Island Zone that you're kind of running away from is the flying battery, but it like visibly isn't, right? Like it's very clear that that's not the case. It's not the same color. You actually see flying battery up close in Mushroom Hill Zone. So what is with that green ship? Like what is that green ship, you know? Yeah, the music definitely makes it feel more like you're you're in flight doing a thing. There we go. Time to fight this guy with the spike of shit. He's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I deserve that. All right, let's do it. Oh, no, don't fly me into him. <laughs> I deserve that, too. Okay, fine. We'll do it legit. All right, let's do this. Oh, I was going to try to spin dash, but I couldn't turn around in time. <sighs> Raw Metal 4 got school paint job. That's not a bad, that's not a bad, uh, ooh, cannon to go with. I can, I can get behind that. Oh, I, mm, he moved up at the last second. Oh. I was so ready for that one, too. Ooh, God, it seemed like it came out swinging a little faster than normal there. Ooh, we almost did it again. There we go. Yeah, bing. And this is the one that sounds like Chrome Gadget Act 2 by Tails. Oh, nice. Uh, some of the sprit some spinning sprites are definitely new. I don't know. I'm not sure which ones specifically you're referring to, but they definitely have added some to make uh some of the animations more 60 frame a second than 30 frame a second. God damn it. Ah, thank you, Magitech. 1112. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the... Whoa, what was that? That didn't seem like that was supposed to happen. 
Thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you kindly. Enjoy. Ugh. Enjoy a stay. There we go. Holy cow. That's weird. It didn't show up in the it didn't show up in the in the like main chat. That is odd. I wonder why. Uh let's go this way probably. I don't know. Oh. Ah, these laser gates were what I was talking about. Nice. Oh shit! Oh, double shit, yep. Oh, I'm back here again. Eh. Alright. Metropolis zone I generally like, though I feel like the level design gets worse as the zone goes on. Uh, it's hard to put my finger exactly on why. I generally like launch base zone. I think it's a nice uh, change of pace from other final zones, if you can actually count this one as a final zone. Like, it does end Sonic 3, but it wasn't ever really meant to, you know? Uh, but, like, I don't know. There's only so many times you can see a, a gray tone factory setting for a final for a final uh, zone and be like, oh, yeah, it's this again. Big machine house. Got it. And, and not start to feel, wow, I just walked right across it. That's cool. And not start to feel a little bit tired of it over time. Final Zone very much does that. Uh, Metropolis Zone into Death Egg both do it. Ugh. No, Tails, no, buddy. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, obviously, Death Egg Zone here does it too. Whoops. Whoop, come on. There we go, that's what I'm playing. For no reason, because there's nothing up here. Oh well. Whoop. Favorite and least favorite level. Uh, let's see. Let me walk through them real quick in my head. So Angel Island Zone is pretty solid. Uh, not a lot to say there. Uh, goes up first, I believe. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay, so Angel Island Zone. Um, pretty decent. Put that on the, on the, like, medium zone tier. Uh, Hydra City Zone. Music is a banger. The level itself, I don't really love that much. Like, it's, it's neat, but it's just like, I don't know. Uh, Marble Garden Zone is definitely low for me. Both music and level. Uh, Carnival Night Zone is fine. Um, uh, Ice Cap Zone. The music, the original music is great. Uh, the level itself fine. It's on the lower side of fine. Launch base zone has its high points and its low points. Music was never one of my favorites, though I do miss it now that it's gone. So, so far out of the Sonic 3 cluster, I'd say Marble Garden is on the bottom and top's kind of a mystery at the moment. Um, shit, I gotta do all this without rings. Good job, Tails. You got it. Mm. The realization is setting in that I have to do all of this without rings. Um. There we go. 
All right, Sonic and Knuckles. We have Mushroom Hill Zone, which I actually do quite like. Um, Flying Battery Zone is great. So I'd say that's maybe the favorite so far there. Sandopolis Zone... I don't know on Sandopolis Zone. I don't hate it as much as John does. I think I hate... I think I dislike Marble Garden Zone more than Sandopolis Zone. Lava Reef Zone I also really like. Maybe more than Flying Battery Zone, actually. Hidden Palace Zone barely counts. Um, Sky Sanctuary Zone is fine. Death Egg Zone is okay. I, so I guess my top would be Lava Reef Zone. And my bottom would be Sandopolis Zone. Uh, with... Yeah, with Marble Garden Zone as a second worst, and Flying Battery probably as my second highest. This is going to take a while for this one. Dodging the laser is going to make this much more frustrating. I thought I cleared it. Oh, God, really? That's going to be rough. Um, when we play Sonic Colors, we are going to at least be playing the original version on the Wii. I don't know if we're going to touch Sonic Colors Ultimate at all. We might do like a one-off episode for it, but I don't think we're going to touch Ultimate. I got to double check, but I think we're going to, I think the plan is we're touching, we're going to do the Wii one. The most annoying thing in Launch Bay Zone is if you happen to take a long ass time getting here, dying on your way to this fight. Yeah, I've heard a lot of interesting things about Sonic Colors Ultimate. So I'll be very curious to see how that, uh... Oh, God. Oh, that'll make life so much easier. Holy shit. Oh, good hit, Tails. Holy shit. There we go. Now for Big Arm. No mistakes allowed. Here we go. Now for the top thing, yep. Three. Four. Eight. Five. Hello! Oop! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome! I, I do not know how to pronounce that. Isan kick it. Oh shit! Damn it. I wasn't thinking about the sides. One hit away. Oh, that's so aggravating. There we go. Ah. Uh. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh, well. We'll get back there. It's fine. But yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you hopped in uh, right in time for the big arm fight. Mirror mode and no rings. It's been a thing. It's been, it's been a run so far. Um... 
I we're not quite. I'm trying to remember. So we we've done speed runs of Sonic Three and Knuckles. I guess we've done one speed run of Sonic Three and Knuckles. And I'm trying to remember what the final the final time was for for each of us for that. Granted, I was also going for all the special stages for that, which there are none here. But the time spent in special stages generally gets equalized out by you know saving time as Super Sonic. Oof, I'm honestly just curious if my time for this half is going to be, you know, comparable to my full run. I guess I am faster by about half an hour compared to that, then. There we go. Nah, nope. Not worth it. Two more hits, and then the ninth. Oof. Nice. There we go. Una mas. It's a little just nugget of a of a ship. Cat's trying to get into the crawl space. Two. From that way. Mm, not worth it. Four. All right, we still got it in. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Boom. There we go. All right. A little under an hour and a half to get to to get through Sonic 3 with no rings and an abundance of fear and in mirror mode. So that's good. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they switched up the transition here. Right there, Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, that's right. They used that, and they did the weird sprite squashing on that too. And we're off. I get that they did the transition because, like, all right, they already have in engine, literally the animation of the Death Egg crashing down. But like, it feels weird and out of place for that. It leaves a hole in your brain where you're expecting the where you're expecting the the Sonic and Knuckles title screen to come up. I don't know. It just feels kind of wrong. I don't know. <laughs> it would honestly have been kind of cool if they if they put another animation in for that. But alas. We can get debug mode the old-fashioned way. Alright. Whoops! Oh, come on. There we go. Man. You know what? You know what we need to do a series of one of these days is all the old, weird, bad uh, Sonic Flash games of the early 2000s. Oh my god, there were so many. A lot of RPG Maker stuff, weirdly enough. Because you see Sonic and your brain goes, oh yeah, RPG Maker. There we go. We'll play a bunch of old Sonic RPG Maker and Flash games and we'll just play Ib in the middle of it. Okay. 
keep going. There we go. Alright. Flew through that stage. Holy shit. Whoop. Here we go. Good night. All right. It's 11 more acts to go. Knuckles, you don't have to hit the switch multiple times. It's just going to work. You don't have to... The, 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 little, the little wind robot knows what it's doing. Just let it do its job. Just let it do its job. Why did I do that? Hmm. Well, that's not how that's supposed to work. Or that. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Tails. There you go, buddy. Hmm. Tails, buddy. There we go. We did it, old buddy, old pal. Good enough. Oh, fucking hell. just reminds me that I still have to see Sonic 2. I still have not seen the movie yet. I have, I have failed in my duties as a sort of kind of Sonic tuber. If there is such a thing. I'm sure there is. that because it's about to be boss time all right four hits in right away that's good oh this is gonna feel weird doing it in reverse oh oh nope god damn it it's five I think god damn it mmm I'll put him on the ground. Too low. Six, seven. There we go. I was like, I thought that was eight. Oh yeah, that is that is that is his thick mobile. Boing. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the first movie, I think, was uh, was actually surprisingly good. I've seen a great deal of video game movies in my life, and uh, it might actually just unironically be the best. I haven't seen Mortal Kombat in an extremely long time, but that's about the only one I can think of that would even, like, really hold a candle. I guess I also haven't seen Detective Pikachu. I should probably see that, but... Uh, Sonic 1 was, like, a surprisingly just not, like, as a video game adaptation, it's, like, fine. As a movie, it's legitimately good. Like, better than good. Like, it's just a, it's just a good family film. Like, that's definitely just, I don't know. It does what it's supposed to and does it well. I would say it's a great success. 
Oh yeah, no problem, Radar. Happy to... Happy to help. Cat's doing something dumb. As she do. Ooh, that went different ways. Alright. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, ho, hey, hey, ho, ho. Oh! I got like stuck on the corner of that. Suck. Just continuing to be a pain in the ass. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. They forgot something. They forgot something. <laughs> uh huh. Well. In my fault they forgot to they forgot to code that out. Yeah, I would imagine in uh in you know ringless mode, the rings are not supposed to come out of anywhere, including there. Uh I'm not complaining. And I'm certainly wow, that was unbelievably lucky. I'm not complaining, and I'm not giving up the rings that they just gave me. Just don't get crushed. Boom, all right. Oh, is it the other way? Whoops. Uh, it is actually built in. Uh, if you go to the sound test and, and uh, hit A on... Oh! On uh, the sound test zero, 0 if you hit A eight times, then all rings will be taken out of the level as well as all monitors, uh, all um, special stages, bonus stages won't activate. Basically, anything that's uh, that can help Sonic is supposed to be turned off, but uh, it looks like they forgot a couple. Whoop. Let's go. There we go. Hmm, this is not ideal. Yeah, if Eggman actually knew what the fuck he was doing, there would never be rings in any of his things. Does it take rings out of Boss Rush too? Uh, you can't access the boss. So it's it's uh it's activated through the sound test in Sonic Three and Knuckles specifically. Uh, so it doesn't actually turn off the rings for Boss Rush, which is a, a bummer in its own right because, like, the Boss Rush feels very weird giving you rings at all, but especially, in some cases, giving you rings in, like, final boss areas. Like, I don't understand what that's all about. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't think I literally don't think I've ever seen whatever this is before. This has always been here, right? And I'm just I'm just a person who's never touched it for 30 years. So weird. 
I've literally never seen this before. It's so bizarre. Yeah, it looks like an unfinished sprite. That was very strange. I wasn't expecting to find something completely new to me in this 28-year-old game uh, tonight, and yet... Here we are. Oh. All right, time for this mess. only a mess because I just kind of have to be patient enough and quick enough at the same time. Hey, yeah, these spike balls also have the, uh, the kind of, uh, reddish glow on them. Makes you think. think what, one more? There we go. All right. We're all learning some things today. I'm going to have to change the little icon on the bottom to say three rings. It's a bit of a three ring circus up in here in the code of this game, if you get what I'm saying, eh? I won't do that again, I'm sorry. There's like a rotation sprite of like... That was so weird. Sonic coming out of that... Like, he rotated very interestingly. Alright. I think it only has the sprite do that because of Death Egg Zone. With the little gravity well... things. feel eh, weird going for that. I'm not sure if I've ever actually died on it, but it always feels weird anyway. Hmm. Death Egg Zone is going to be decidedly harder without uh, a lightning shield. Yay, the little magnet balls. I love those things. Great job, Tails. You're doing great, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Well, this is not good. Did the prediction... Oh, I didn't see what it was. Oh, will I hit 50 deaths or not? Ooh, interesting. What am I at right now? 30-ish? Oh, I'm at 40? Oh, probably. 
it will not surprise me at all if I get through 50. I feel like 60 might be the, the better one to check, but who knows? Could go either Ooh, way. Tails, no! Oh, right. These guys are good. Oh, okay. Okay. Finally. Oof. Before, during... I mean, it's not going to be before. I'm not going to die ten more times before we're done with uh, Flying Battery Zone. Um, during... I feel like it's. I feel like I'll hit fifty in Lava Reef Zone. Is my guess. Oh, is it time already? It annoys me a lot that I can't like hit that at all. Looks like a big belly. The light spot in the middle looks like a belly button to me. Is this crunching down tinier than normal? All right, here we go. Hmm. Oh, shit. I wasn't prepared for him to go four on that one. I like that the top of that has... Oh! Oh, I tried to stop, too. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I thought that I had enough with the, uh... With the insta-shield to get me the rest of the distance, too. Got big balls, Robotnik. Tails, maybe don't jump directly on those, huh? I like the thing on the top, though, that has that, like, um... Was it a butane? Not a butane lighter. There's a name for, for like, a torch that lights that way. That has that little, like, it almost, I think it acts like a filament, doesn't it? All right, Sandopolis zone. Here we go. Oh, boy. A lot of problems there. Boom, 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 boom. 
boom, boom. Every time I hear this song, my brain wants to finish this bit by jumping into Death Egg Zone. I like they brought back Caterkiller for that. It's a nice little, nice little thing to have him back for. What is Sonic doing during the first part of his idle pose? Is he snapping, pointing the camera, or something else? Let's say. Oh, 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 oh. I think he's I think he's snapping. He's like snapping to get your attention. Cause look at like the way that his his hand is like compressed and then does this. I think it's supposed to be a snap to get your attention and then pointing forward like let's go. My that would be that'd be my reading of that sprite. I don't know if that is the intent. It could be something else. It could be him pointing at the screen, but I read it as a snap. I think this sprite also changed. It's now, oh, it's now a bunch of, uh, one, it seems to be an actual collection of smaller sprites at various points, but also it was doing real rotation there as opposed to just being like a, uh, a, you know, two or three slightly rotated sprites. Tails. Wanna go up here, what's up here? Backwards? I might be going backwards now. Mm. No. All right. <gasps> oh. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, this sent me really far back. Ugh. Look at the, the rope on this. It's doing actual rotation. That's pretty cool. Nice. Could go down too, but... right here. I'm just gonna jump it. Okay, got that one. That one. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, thought I was gonna go over that. Alright, 
come out. God, that was so close. Jesus Christ. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Eh. Goodbye. Another checkpoint would be lovely right about now. Also, we gotta be getting close to the end, aren't we? Oh, whoop. Hey, there's that. And if this is another one of these, I think we're now basically there. Yep. Yeah. I just gotta find another uh, abandoned ring filled egg prison, and we'll be all set. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Mm hmm You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep it up. Yeah, okay. All right. Yep. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you, man. Come on. Come over here. Come to Papa. Look, he's doing it. There we go. Such an annoying mid-boss. Just because it's so tedious. I wonder if it, like... Right, like, there's no clear... There's no clear connection between that thing and... Uh, Robotnik. Maybe that's the original egg golem. Or the original golem of the, of the pyramid. And the egg golem is replacing it. Love that sound. It's really good, right? Ding. There we go. I was like, we haven't actually let the ghost out yet. <sighs> oh, nope. All right, Tails, get over here. Here we go. Nope, that was the one I wanted. Whoop. Damn it, alright. We'll go down again. quickly. Aha. Got the checkpoint, and uh, the ghosts can get you if you wait longer. Essentially, there's five states in this stage. There's no ghosts, one ghost, two ghosts, three ghosts, and three ghosts attacking. Uh, once they get to that last phase, they will damage you if they run into you. Hey, can I... Tails? 
do, 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 do. Let's do that first. Oh, Tails, you fucker. That may actually be a problem here. Oh. Well, that's not so good. There we go. Oh. All right. That doesn't seem like that was what was supposed to happen. There we go. Yeah, Oil Ocean Zone from Sonic Mania definitely, definitely borrows elements of uh, Sandopolis Zone. It's a very interesting mix of the two. It's the only, st it, like, there's elements from, oh, damn it. There's elements from other stages, like, mixed together throughout. Uh, I'm definitely going to die at this point. There's no chance I'm going to get to the top before the ghosts are attacking. Shit, yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, or that's just gonna happen. But yeah, a bunch of the a bunch of the levels based on classic levels in Sonic Mania have elements of more than one level going on. But I think Oil Ocean Zone is the only one that has two le that has two stages as like you know that level of influence on the overall level design. Like, nothing else is quite that far with it. Like, I want to say Green Hill Zone has has some uh, Palm Tree Panic in it and stuff, but, like, the degree of borrowing is definitely very different. Okay, we gotta do this quick. Alright. Less quick now. Still wanna do it quick, just not, you know. That's not gonna be good. Okay, that's right. I I, I thought I was like I could swear that those don't actually go to the ends, and thankfully they don't. way. I believe we're actually getting fairly close to... Oh my god, my fucking brain. There we go. The end of the zone. Yeah, once you get to the fucking machine gun doors, we're quite close to the end. Knuckles' is path. Oof. There we go. Visibly have forgotten that there's that extra one machine gun door midway through the level. Ooh, I should have grabbed that. Screw it, we're actually close to the end now. Mm. There we go. Oh my god, the fucking grinding. That was a little close. Now 
There we go. Goodbye, everybody, Nick. Yer. All right. Leaves us with Sandopla Zone, or, or Lava Reef Zone, Hidden Palace, Sky Sanctuary, Death Egg. All right. Six acts to go. Oh, this one's going to be a rough without the fire shield, let me tell you. Fire shield makes life. Oh, no, Tails, no, <laughs> bad. Fire shield makes life one bajillion times easier. Nope. In this stage. Wow, really? I barely even saw the sprite of it as it finished phasing through the ground. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh! Oh, bye, Tails. And then coming at me as a surprise out of the ground. Thank you. All right. I gotta remember, too, that I can technically deflect projectiles on my Insta Shield. Timing is, like, ridiculous, but. Oh, thank you, Fumbledore. Or, sorry, for. for. for Dumbledore. For. for. Wait. Oh, my God. For 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 Dumbledore is that is that how how it is pronounced? Thank you, thank you very very much. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. I have no. Fair enough. Oh, uh, it's generally my answer when people ask how to pronounce my last name. I just kind of stopped caring after a while. I was like, if it's identifiable enough, you know. That it's that's me that you're talking about, then then we're good. Whoop. Oh god, that was stupid to go without waiting for a cycle. Hey buddy. The bad part is that. I don't remember which spots have platform under them. Hmm. Kind of a dick move if you don't have access to shields at all. But what do I know? I'm just the idiot playing this mode. Please give me a... Ugh. Please give me a checkpoint soon so I don't have to guess on that shit again. Oh, boy. Usually there's a giant ring off to the side there. Oh, but not today. Not coming back. There we go. All right. Oh! Kind of threw me to the side a little hard there. I think up here is normally just a shield and like maybe some rings. Just let that happen real quick. All right. Oh god! Oh! I got stuck inside of a little. V oh. There was a there was a, a vertical tunnel. So when I was trying to get out of the way to the right, I ran directly into that. Oh god, that sent me so far back. That's super aggravating. 
Oh, man. Uh, all right. It's all right. Oh, Jesus. I almost... I'm just going to stand in the center of this. That's almost incorrect. Great. Oh. Oh, God. Back here again. I keep forgetting about that. So annoying. But also, aren't we getting close to the mid boss, too? Uh, oh, fuck me. <sighs> Coming out of the walls. There is a hole there too. Like you can, you can see that that's going to happen, but it doesn't make it any any less of a bummer when it does. Ugh. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot that that was there. Wow. Oh my god. shit. There we go. There we go. Cool. One more checkpoint B. Super swell. Oh, yeah, this area. Shit, well... Wait, what? What just happened? Yeah, what? That should have just killed me right away. Bugs are so fucking weird. I'm just gonna go this way instead. I think it's the way that I usually I usually take the upper path with Sonic. Well, not this. I guess I'd be. Ooh, Jesus. That was really bizarre. It threw me off so hard. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Shit. I wasn't expecting to go through the ceiling. Oh, man. No, no, no. There we go. Spawn. All right. Ooh. Shit, come on. I'm on the wrong side of the very tiny hill. Holy shit, that was close. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's super, super weird. Like, that was my guess was like, did it have something to do with an insta-shield? I didn't know that you could insta-shield the lava. That's fucking news to me. Ooh. God, fuck me. All right. Can we just get to the fucking uh, mid-boss already? Holy shit. There we go. Oh. Mm. He hasn't articulated the fingers on this bad boy yet. Whoop, there you go. Oh, Tails, you almost fucked me there, man. Alright. Okay. Act two, here we go. Eek. This is yet another stage that usually I'm I'm supersonic for. Like the bulk of it, and you just fucking rip through it. <laughs> yeah, he's just got the one... Oh, wow, really? He's got the one just... That's it. That's all he's got going so far. That's an interesting point to start me from. After the first obstacle. Whew, that was tight. Oh, I thought it was gonna be too high if I if I just ran under it. Uh. That was too far to the left, really. All right, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit I'm getting a little uh, um, messy now. Shit. All right. Also, the holes that the enemies come out of it are way less obvious in Act Two. you really oh my god uh. that was definitely kind of a lame one anytime they just kind of throw you into damage it's like really really 
Especially when immediately before, they're strongly insisting that you pick up a lot of speed. Ooh, that was a little... So I'm just gonna take that one slow now. I could swear there's actually... Oop, maybe it's not there. That there's actually a hidden passage in... Uh, oh, this is gonna be unfriendly. Ugh. God damn. Wait this one out. Ooh, boy. I love you so. Never, ever, ever gonna let you go. Ooh. I want to see somewhere in that wall is also a... A little passageway, maybe for a giant ring or something. Oh, thank Christ, finally. Whoop. I wonder if they were intentionally were making a little reference to uh, Mystic Cave Zone with those platforms with the spikes. A little spike thing. Uh, I guess I got clearance this time. Oh god! Uh Didn't wanna go this way. Uh. Oh god. Okay. Oh, this is gonna suck without Like it almost looks too fast now because of the sixty frames. God. Now let's not use the spring to spring into mystery here. Mm. Nope, I think I won't. Oh, maybe I will. Oh boy. Huh. Oh shit. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. Here we go. I was like, why isn't it doing anything? Oh. Didn't even see it there. Oh, God. A little, little skip there. A little pep in his step. Sonic's excited to see... A checkpoint about as much as I am. Uh, and I'm very excited to see a checkpoint, so, you yeah. know. Ooh, oh boy! I wonder if that was a little, uh... little bonus from the old insta-shield there. Oh, we made it. Alright. Ooh, boy. Hey, buddy. I do like the addition of uh, the rock falling into the next screen here. Like, it falls along with you. I think that's a great touch. There we go. Hey. 
underneath. More stairs. There we go. And a checkpoint. Now it's just kind of whatever. There's nothing to really... Nothing to really do since there's no monitors. Go where? That way? To the right? Why? No, we can't go to the right. It's mirror mode. In fact, I'm slightly anxious that he's going to appear basically right underneath me. <gasps> what? Really? Okay, game. <gasps> okay, that platform just went away that time. Like, th so thrown off by that. So, like, what do I... feel like I should jump to this just in case. Oh. Well, this time the screen actually, like, did what it was supposed to. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go to this one. Is this coded to set the boss off? But now if he pops up on the right, I'm dead. All right, is it gonna work this time? Why? I I wouldn't be surprised if this if this specific thing was coded in a way where you have to be on the right side of the screen for the boss to get triggered properly and it didn't mirror that correctly. Like it's hard coded in somewhere in a way where it doesn't give a shit about the actual like directionality of anything. It just goes right side of the screen. That was so bizarre. At least, uh... I mean, most bosses are, but this boss is, like, functionally identical to, uh... Really? Wow. Jesus Christ game. Your triggers are all fucked up. Oh yeah, I definitely need to watch that show. I've been meaning to for a while now. I've heard really, really good things. I am oof, very interested in checking that one out. Alright. Not to mention, Taika Waititi and Reese Darby. You can't go wrong. Oof. That should do it. There we go. That should do it. No? Wait a minute. Did I miscount? Is he 15 hits, not 12? Fourteen hits. Hmm. I do need to check out Neon White as well. And bidets. Oh. Has it always been fourteen? I thought for some reason it was twelve. Alright. 
Time to fight Knuckles. Left out of the boss rush for no apparent reason. I wonder. Like, I doubt it, but... Tails, really? Wh what is going on? There we go. Probably the wrong spot anyway, but whatever. Fuck it. Oh yeah, I think it's out here actually. So this goes all the way over to Knuckles' entrance. That's a solid... Okay. Hmm. Anyway. This is gonna be a little rough without rings. Nice shot, Tails. Nice shot, buddy. You fucking killed him. He's a big asshole. Alright. The Super Emeralds aren't here because we never entered the Super Emerald... Like, you know, thing. That'd have been cool. Either in Sonic 3 Knuckles or or Yeah, there definitely would have been it definitely would have been cool to earn to the ability to play as Knuckles. <laughs> like it's just like, alright, we got here. <sighs> alright, Sky Sanctuary Zone. Here we go. Egg Robos are going to be a pain. Alright. Hey, Knuckles. Thanks, Knuckles. I bet I die to those little spike swings like three separate times over the course of this. I do like that the game kind of covertly warns you ugh, when an Eggman Robo, when an Egg Robo is going to uh, be up in your business by, by having them like fly up like that. Ooh. The Insta Shield is my best fucking friend in all of this. Alright. It is interesting that while in Sonic 1 in Origins. In Sonic 1 in Origins, you cannot hit whatever the fuck this one is called, uh, un the Egg Wrecker or something, until it finishes coming in. But in this one, you can. Also, they did this for Sonic Advance. I wish they did it here. It would have been great if, uh, it would have been really, really great if they played the Sonic 1 boss music 
and then the Sonic 2 boss music for the uh, Metropolis Zone, uh, uh, the Egg Bouncer fight. Like, it's more understandable as separate games being like, oh, well, they it's separate games, whatever. But in this one, the game is literally right there. And considering what they, you know, the travesty that is the, uh, the Sonic 3 Super Sonic track that they have, you know, forced upon this game, they definitely could have done stuff outside the normal, uh, sound font. Alright, time for this mess. I didn't mean to roll. Ugh. Dude, really? I went all the way back? Oh, fuck you. There really wasn't any goddamn checkpoint during that? Fuck. Oh, God. That's disheartening. Uh. Oop, that was a mistake. Uh. All right. Yeah. Man, it's certainly doable without checkpoints, but it makes it a hell of a lot more, you know, sane. Maybe there's some down here. Oh, fuck me. All right. Well, ain't no one to blame but myself. Oh, boy, that was close. do this. God, the fucking insta-shield makes that battle so much easier. Oh. Oh, God. Uh. So, when you say Mr. Perfect, are you saying, like, no hit runs? Oh, shit. No hits. Jesus Christ. I have a, a very high tolerance for, like, game challenges, but no hit... Like, no hit runs are, like, a mess. Like, this is pretty fucking close to a no hit, you know, run of this game, but I still have... I have infinite lives and occasionally checkpoints. Like... Jesus Christ. Two years to beat. Yeah, I believe it. Mega Man 3 is not an easy game. Like, that's a hard enough game to beat with all of... Ooh. With all of, uh... That was weird that it threw me the wrong way first. But yeah, goddamn. That's a hell of a... That's a hell of a lot of focus that you have to have to make that work, too. Oh boy, I insta shield my shielded myself to safety there. Oh boy. But goddamn, good for her. That's nuts. I don't think that I have the patience for a full on legitimate no hit run of God, I can't even think of a single game. Tetris. No hit no hit run of Tetris. But for real, I, I legit can't think of any game that I could get through entirely without a hit. 
or have the patience to learn. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, the Insta Shield uh, does a lot more than it seems like it it would, to a degree that I didn't think was possible. The lava stuff is the most real is really the most interesting to me of our of our learnings tonight. Oh, so many enemies that are just gonna zip in out of nowhere to fuck me up. Oh shitty fucky shit. Oh my god. Okay. We're okay. Huh? Hi. Uh. Or the Origins Code is the answer shield differently from the original games. Maybe it's entirely possible. Right, and King of Hearts won Disney Island until he got to level 100. Took them months of real playtime. Jesus, I believe it. Uh, I think I even joked about that at one point. Not doing it myself, just like the idea of... You know, because like... Only so many RPGs essentially give you the ability uh, to grind to max from the get-go. But fuck, actually going through with that sounds... Like... Torture. Yeah, it's entirely possible that, that it's been recoded in a ridiculously accurate way to, like, extend its abilities. Who knows? Oh, my God. That stuff is nuts. Multi... Multi... Uh... Multi-party member RPGs definitely seem rough with that, because, like, on the one hand, yeah, when you're level 100 or 30 or 50 or whatever, you know, 60 you happen to have as a cap, uh, it doesn't really matter whether you even have party members or not at that point, but even still. Oh, boy. Fuck, I couldn't even see it there. Shit. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting stuff. Ah, damn it. Lying in wait under the in the game here. There we go. It's one of the few areas of the game that doesn't have a scrolling background at all. A bunch of possible for each gem, including training started to level 36 by being blocked and then dying of what? Eek. Completing your Pokedex as much as possible for each gym. Okay, including training your starter to level 36 by repeating beating blocks. Geodude. And then dying or whatever Pokemon game you're playing. Huh. Oh, God. Please get me out of here. Oh. This I am universally supersonic for. Or have a lightning shield and can just run across this anyway. Oh no. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank god. 
Oh, this. Oh, this feels super strange backwards. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, whoop. There we go. Oh, Brock, okay. Are we basically at the... Yes, we are. Well, this is going to be a much less enjoyable situation now. Nice. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. Now for the really shitty part. Didn't think it was close enough for that. Oh, God. Thought I had another second before it dropped down. Most intimidating looking Sonic boss. Uh, yeah, this would definitely be up there. Uh, of the mid bosses, this certainly is way up there. Maybe number one. Damn, Tails, you are really having trouble today. I don't think Tails has hit him once. Alright, time for this. This is very close. Ugh. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, his eyeball teleported. Oh, here we go. Last act. Let's do this. Finish strong. We're coming up on three hours in. I think we're at around 245-ish. Right, the gravity. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Look at this fucking rotation. It's like distractingly weird. Oh, god damn! Spooky fucking son of a bitch. Oh, the, the one with the flippy gravity stuff? That one's usually not too bad. 
but it definitely ugh, can get a little tricky if I have to worry about bumping into the spike carts. Oh, God. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, damn it. Couldn't get out of the way. All right. I think we're missing a death in there, too, because I died twice in a row very quickly. Oh, boy, that was fucking close. Ugh. Ugh. So I got that one, and then the one that I just died should also be added. Yeah, there is the delay on there. Oh! God damn. You spooky fucking... You really fuck that weight thing up pretty badly. Oh, God, this again. Ugh. Oh, fuck, damn it, I did it again. Because on the first time through, I tried to wait it through and, like... Uh, so we got two more deaths to go onto the counter, I believe. Ugh. Fuck! I- Oh! I was literally standing on the platform still as it fell. There's no way, yeah. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Nice moment of Tails trying to be heroic, but... stairs above the floating platform. Shit! Fuck. I knew as I was doing it that I was jumping too early. Uh... Oh, man. 
I was low key hoping I could I could keep the deaths there. Oh my god, that's literally, I think, the first time in the entire game that I missed the insta-shield on an enemy. Oh, shit. If I'm on the left side as I land, then I'm just not going to be able to make that work. Fuck! Oh my god. The timing on that feels like it keeps changing. Oh, <laughs> oh god, Jesus Christ. I believe I died four times in quick succession a minute ago there, so it's probably 73, if not 74. It depends what the accurate number actually was. kind of wanted to do... Oh, of course. Oh, oh, fuck it. Really? I was hoping I could maybe manage to squeeze in there. I didn't... God. Fuck. That was kind of rough. Okay. Diamond shaped bastards to come fuck me up. Oof. Ah, I didn't even see the one on the left. Tails. Again, this is a spot that I usually wind up having supersonic for. Oh, okay. I was like, please don't shoot while I do this jump. All right, here we go. Three boss states. Actually, four boss states. Ah, too early. Oh, I'm going to... Ooh, I thought I was going to go directly into the spikes. Oh, 
stupidly. This is not giving me a lot to work with here. There we go. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Uh... Sonic has a different sprite when he's looking up when he's in this little thing. That's interesting. Those are definitely new. Oh! Oh, I thought I could get into the thing in time. It might have been like the frame before it triggered it. I, okay, you have to step out more for it to actually activate. I forgot about that. <sighs> oh man, I love I love this sign. Uh, my girlfriend got it for me for uh, I forget if it was Christmas or my birthday. I think it was Christmas, technically. Uh, and it's something that I've wanted for so long for like our, our aesthetic from back in our, our podcasting days was was very much like you know neon sign and eh, and all of that jazz and I I love it it's greener than it looks in this in like the shot right now oh that was a terrible terrible one there uh, but for whatever reason the uh, the webcam that I'm using is doing a lot of color correction that's just, like, not great, so it's just reading it as kind of a bluer sort of uh, color. Oh, we gotta be so close now. Come on. There we go. Kaboom. Hey, buddy. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I love this sign. It's so, so cool. Uh, it's got kind of sharp corners on it, funny enough. Yes, dive bar is like, I think that's, I think that'd be a good way of putting what the, what the, like, original aesthetic that we were kind of going for was. It was meant to be kind of like a, yeah, you're like hanging out in a bar with friends. Very much inspired by, uh... We were sort of a spinoff of a different podcast uh, that had sort of a, a, like, jazz lounge kind of vibe to it. And so we went for the more, uh, we went for the more dive bar aesthetic on that. Oof. Oh! Tails, god damn it. Well, I would like it if you would still get a hit, but you know. Oh, that felt really, really close. <gasps> Tails! Oh my god! I didn't think I was close enough for Tails to fuck that up for me. I was gonna say, we're basically right at the three hour mark. Oh, Tails, come on, buddy. Ugh. We were golden on that one. I thought he had one more step. I also thought there was a tiny bit more of a, of a tell before he, before he dropped uh, the fingers there, but that's on me. There we go. There we go. 
go. Oop, not what I was trying to go for. There we go. a little bit early there. There we go, get some extra hits in. There we go. Alright, here we go. Last but not least. Well, kind of least. In this game, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Oh, God. There we go. Boom. Somewhere in the ballpark of three hours and three minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all for mirrored and, and ringless. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, 81 deaths. You know what? I could have done a lot worse. I'm pretty happy with that. I was worried it was going to be just constantly fucking eating it all up and down this. But that's an average of about three. It's actually, yeah, it's about three and a third deaths per act. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, but there we go. Hey, we fucking did it. Mm. Now we get to enjoy the spoils of our of our labor, which is us flying past Angel Island and leaving it in the ocean? Or does it start... I don't think it starts floating again because we didn't do anything. Oh no, or is it... It's floating. Yeah, I don't think it... I don't think it's doing anything because we, we didn't get the map. We didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds or Super Emeralds, so it's not going to go up into the sky. I thought they fucked with the... I thought they fucked with the credits music. Which one did they mess with? They messed with one of the credits... songs. I thought it was this one. But I don't think they messed with one or two or CD. Well, you, well, yes, I know that much. The Sonic, the the Sonic Three one is Strangers in Moscow, it's like a beta Strangers in Moscow. But like, I thought that I remembered. I thought that I remembered when we played through story mode of this that one of the credits themes got a completely wrong credits theme. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you get, when you get, Was I just not paying attention? It's the it's the spot where you're falling from space, and you get and you get grabbed in, in the plane. And normally, in Sonic Three and Knuckles, it plays Sky Sanctuary Zone. But in this game, it plays a different it plays a different, essentially prototype track. But I wasn't paying attention at all to see whether they played it or not, which is why my brain was like, "Wait a minute, something's off," because it's not off. Oh my god. Brad Buxer. Here's my boy, Hard Times. Missing a name on that list, though. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh man. June Sunaway. You tried, buddy. He did it. He, I mean, he did great work for this back in 1994. Not his best work in 2022. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think there it's the prototype. It's essentially the prototype credits. But it's it's weird because it's not so much a prototype credits as it is, I guess, a prototype like it made it might have been intended as prototype credits, but now they're being used as just an end cutscene track. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Whew. Yeah, a little over three hours. Not bad. I was I wasn't sure if like I I started this late. We started at like 10 p.m. before we did the knuckles um, boss rush and then and then got into this. And I was worried for a while. I was like, I would love for this to be something that I can do in like 
to a showers, and I will be really bummed out if this is something that takes like four or five hours. Thankfully, it didn't get that extreme, so. Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's enjoy our little cutscene. That's interesting. The cutscene that it's playing implies that you got the good ending, because that's the ship that he has in the Doomsday Zone. The one that's containing the giant Eggman Robo. Which also, damn, what a huge fucking whiff on the boss rush's part for not having you do the Doomsday Zone fight. Like, what the hell? Now, before we go, we are going to check out the museum, which we've unlocked nothing in until this point. We have a thousand plus of these. Uh, so are these literally just, you know, swap characters? Okay. Now, I assume these ones are ones we just have. Yeah, you just have, like, an out of... An out of, uh... Game sound test, essentially. It also plays after clearing Scrap Brain Zone 2 when... It's interesting that they, that they have, like... Oh, my. That they have, like, descriptions on these, too. The very first sound heard by Sonic fans. Six Chaos Emeralds and Sonic the Hedgehog. If you play Boss Rush mode, you will hear this tune quite often. Alright. One up. Chaos Emerald. Drowning. Game over. Continue. Stage clear. Nice. All clear. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, it's a bummer that Knuckles doesn't get a little something there. It'd be nice if they if they gave him a little something for it. Toot Sonic Warrior. Oh, we got the Japanese soundtrack first and then probably the American one afterwards? Yeah! This is one of my favorite tracks in the damn franchise, and it's such a bummer that it's only in the Japanese version of the game. It would have been cool if story mode had Knuckles' run uh, go after Sonic's at the end of it. i kind of neat. There was a part of me that was low-key hoping that, uh, that they were going to secretly sneak Sonic Mania in as a bonus game or something, but... Unfortunately, no. See, what really, what we really need is for someone to... Because Sonic Mania has been hacked a bajillion times at this point. Someone needs to hack Sonic Mania to have uh, uh, essentially Sonic Mania-ized versions of classic Sonic stages in Sonic Generations and Sonic Forces. That way you can have that way you can have uh, Sonic Origins, which does one CD two three, and then a Sonic Mania hack that has Generations Mania and Forces to kind of complete the the cycle there. All right, speed up, zone clear, game over, little planet. I don't. I honestly don't know what DA Garden means. Like, I think it's supposed to be, it's like the main menu, isn't it? Or something? But like, DA Garden. I skip that for now. Oh, interesting. I wonder if, so, because this is, you know, uh, a US localized version of the game, it just goes from Sonic CD, Japan, Europe to Sonic CD. I'm curious if, oh, digital audio, that might be it, yeah. I'm curious if in non-US regions, this one is written as, like, Sonic CD, you know, US, and this one's just Sonic CD, you know? Mm -hmm. 
they really are just calling this just like a title. It's like, oh, it doesn't have a it doesn't have an actual name like Sonic Boom, for example. Also, what is the order for these? We're just kind of skipping through these quickly cuz I there's just so many copies of the CD ones in general. Disc audio, that makes sense too. You can see that. Seven time stones. Uh, get speed up. Zone clear. Game over. Little planet. Is this just also the end credits music? I think it is. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. The, the way they're marking North America and not North America title screens, it's very, like, strange how they're, how they're doing it. Hey, we're in a Sonic 2. Oh, I wonder... I assume they're going to put Hidden Palace Zone in this one also. No, they're going to put it right here? Nope, okay. Could be somewhere else. Death Egg Zone Part 1. I guess the the giant Eggman Robo one is Part 2. Yeah, okay. Actual supersonic music. Maybe Hidden Palace Zone is, uh, is a premium track. The fact that this is just in here as all clear and not as sweet dreams is like... Eek. Extra. Like it's been... It's been more or less proven what at this point that the, the, the intent was for the unfinished Hidden Palace Zone. Though I, I've heard arguments that it was in, that it could have been used for Mystic Cave Zone because Mystic Cave Zone's music may have been intended for the unfinished Desert One. Um, or honestly, what I would almost see as being likelier is potentially this one. I could see this potentially being the desert theme. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, for a secret screen. From the title screen, enter certain commands to get there. Oh boy, there's going to be a whole bunch missing from this one. Sonic Knuckles appears. Sonic and Knuckles. How Are you going to throw Sonic 3's? One in there by chance? Any possibility? Hmm. It just hurts. It just hurts. Makes me so sad. Nine. So ten. I guess it is Lava Reef Zone Act 2, but they really are going out of their way to sit to not ever mention Hidden Palace Zone. They're even skipping past, you know, Zone 11, Hidden Palace Zone. They could have said Zone 10 and 11, Zone 10 BGM for Lava Reef Zone Act 2 and Hidden Palace Zone, but no. They can also turn into Super Emeralds. Magnetic orbs, all right. Slot machine, gumball machine. Battle in the middle of the zone. Technically, this is also a Sonic and Knuckles variant. This is always the same. There we go. Last boss. Don't say the Doomsday Zone, I guess.
one, it's the invincibility theme from Sonic 3. Two, this BGM plays when Sonic turns into Super Sonic. I mean, lies, because they edited that out of this game and gave it a new awful, awful track. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. And again, they're also talking about the fact that it's supposed to play when you turn into Supersonic. Very interesting. Staff roll one. So this is the actual credits theme. Where's staff roll two? I've checked this one before, by the way. Black and white doesn't... It's close, but it's not as close as the other ones, which are, like, basically identical. Sorry, black or white. Why are they in this order? Danger is lurking around every turn. Trust your feelings, got to live and learn. One of the other proto... I think this is one of the other prototype tracks. It sounds weird and off. I don't know. It sounds so square wavy compared to the rest of the soundtrack. Wasn't this the original competition music or something? I forget. Or the other original credits music? Yeah, this is the one that swapped that out with. Uh. Oh. Where's Jeff? We got some pinball going. Sonic Spinball, I, I feel like this, that entire soundtrack desperately needs a remaster because it all sounds like fart music. Like, it all just sounds farty? I don't know. And I know it's meant to be, like, really low, grindy, kind of electric guitar sort of stuff, but, like, it sounds just weird in that sound font. Boo doo 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 I think this is the track that that made the rounds with uh, with uh, someone made an animation of Surge set to this music with her just smashing together like electric rings to make to make the noise. Yeah, this one should sound familiar to Sonic Adventure fans. <laughs> Sonic 3D Blast, when we, when we got around to playing it um, for the Super Sonic Let's Play, was much better than I remembered it from years and years back. It is a legitimately fun game. May also sound familiar to Sonic Adventure fans. For some reason, I want to hop into a go-kart. Alright. Ooh, that's a weird scratchy sound there. I didn't like that. I did not even realize that it used two different boss themes. Interesting. Alright. Knuckles Chaotix. I love that it's visibly a picture. That's literally a picture of an actual game box that's been 
fold it out. Or, or yeah, I think that's the box, not, not the instruction manual. You can see the wear on the corners, and especially on the spine between the two... The, the, the two halves of the yellow bar, you can see the crease running right up the middle. It's really cool to actually get official names for these. I don't know if these were always the official names and were on, like, some, you know, obscure soundtrack, but... Still cool. Walking. Somebody needs to take this music and set it and set that gif of like the three the three dudes walking that's been making the rounds lately. Set that to this. Hmm. Oh right, because different times of day. Oh my god. BGM track available in the sound test. It's literally like half of the selection thing. Yeah, like that one. Weird. Uh, walk in. It just works. It'll just work. Special stages, okay. Oh yeah, the cutscene music, those were fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ah, the bad ending mu music. And good music. Oh, yeah, Isolated Isles. Or Isolated Island, or whatever it is. Mm. Okay. Well, let's check out the premium collection, then. Wow, they have Smash Brothers music in here right away. How many are there? There's 25. Well, first of all, let's buy them all, and then we'll, whoops, then we'll listen to stuff. I love that we've got so many coins that we still have more, we still have a thousand left after. Uh, there's new museum content available because I bought stuff in the museum? Why would you do that? Oh, I bet a bunch of these are from Sonic Generations, aren't they? Oh, a Cash Cash remix. I'm all about that. Cash Cash's remix of Back to Back is great from Sonic, uh, Sonic Rush and also um, Sonic Boom as well. An arrangement of the stage music created in 2007. For what? Are you not allowed to say Super Smash Brothers Brawl? All right. Arrangement of the title screen music created in 2011. Was that for the iOS app? What would 2011 have been? That would also have been Sonic Generations, right? Yeah, would this have been Sonic Generations? Act 2 Normal. Yeah, this is definitely a bunch of generation stuff. There's two different... Okay. Yeah, this definitely... Yeah, okay.
Okay. Okay, all right, I'm getting into that. It's so weird that they refuse to say what games these are in, especially Sonic Generations. Like, that's your own thing. There we go. I was like, I just want to get recognizable. So Casino Night Zone, I think, was in the 3DS version of Sonic Generations. This remix is maybe one of the best remixes that's ever been done officially of one of the classic themes. It's just good and jazzy and loungy. I love it. And this is when you're fighting um, Death Egg Robot in Sonic Generations. Very orchestral mix. That's the results music from Sonic 2. Oh yeah, that's right. Oof, this one sounds rough. I think Mushroom Hill was also 3DS. Ooh, that's actually worse. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Is the only... Is the only difference just the drumming? There we go. Yeah. I wonder if they have the uh, the Sonic Mania Adventures version of this track. That'd be cool. Nice. 2017 Battle of Metal Sonic. Sonic Forces, probably? Yeah, I think it's Sonic Forces. Booze House Lap Music. That's Sandopolis. Oh, is that for Team Sonic Racing? I think it is. Okay, we're back here again. Okay, so that's all of the sounds. Check so out some illustrations. Holy cow, there's a lot of these. All right. Wait. Some of them are still locked? Did we not do... Whatever. We'll look at the ones we can. Yeah, we got Sonic. I'm going good stuff. He surprises everyone with his intensity and speed. We got Tails. Mechanical prowess rivals that of Dr. Eggman's, even though that was not a thing for him back in these days. Uh, we got Knuckles, Dr. Eggman. Doesn't say anything about his old name of Robotnik. He down he seems to feel a kinship with the Hedgehog. Okay. Metal Sonic, also capable of instantaneous speeds greater than Sonic. Ooh, nice. I will give that a look. Let me... Oh, actually, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's going to play through the... Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for a sec. And I'll try... I'll, I'll make sure not to speak during it so I can... Tweak it during uh, during the editing process before this goes up online here. Hopefully it's not ridiculously loud. I am not able to hear it. Oh, shit, because the way that it's... I'm going to have to listen to it afterwards. Damn it. I'm sorry. Here, I'm going to like and retweet it very quickly here, though. And then I will give that a look when we're done, because the way that it's set up, any sound that comes through here is going to go through here, but not be heard by me. Because if that did, then I would hear myself the whole time. But I will give it a look. Thank you very much. I love the Pico Pico Hammer reference. We had Sonic 1 box art. Oh, we have multiple pages to some of these. 
You got the Japanese, the American, and the European versions. Same for say for Sonic CD. I think I think the European one is the best for Sonic CD. For Sonic One, I think they all actually have a lot of value to them. Each of them has their own style, but they all work. Sonic CD, I think the European one is the best. Uh, I mean, there's there's not really a difference, a meaningful one between the American and, and European versions, but I'd say the Western one, just that crumbling two is fucking iconic. Uh, let's see, Sonic 3. I don't like the European one for this. I've always found that one a little bit weird looking. Also, the logo is a weird choice. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think the American one one's for me for Sonic 3. Oh, Sonic and Knuckles. Literally a picture of a dismantled box. All right. The American one. Yeah, again, the Western one, visibly inspired by Batman. Uh, like, it looks better on a black background than a, than a white one. Ooh, Sonic Spinball. Uh, let's see. So this is the, the Genesis version where we have a uh, scary dead-eyed Robotnik. Are we going to get the 8-bit? version as well that uses the animated show probably not right god that's so haunted Ugh. chaotix this box art looks awful it's literally like sprites from the game that have just been blown up they look jaggy and weird uh again both these are basically the same i would say showing the cast at the bottom is kind of nice in the european version basically the same difference the manuals oh boy flip through them real quick as we're oh that's cute that there's little things about the the zones there too oh i wonder so here's the american manual i decidedly definitely remember these manuals quite a bit secret zone oh man oh this takes me back also, the score book in the back, back when that was like the big thing for a lot of folks, keeping score, uh, keeping track of how well you've you've done. We've got many, many translations on this. I'm not going to flip through every page of every one of these. I just wanted to take a quick peek at some of it. What I want to see specifically here is Sonic 3... American, because I'm curious if they retained it. Also, meet Knuckles the Echidna. Favorite foods, fruit, especially grapes. It's one of my favorite pieces of trivia. Knuckles loves grapes. Insta Shield, Tales to the Rescue. Oh, yes. Uh, ooh, those sneaky bitches. They edited it. So. You can kind of tell they did, too. So. Huh. Did they just switch the pictures? So in the actual. Oh, I wonder if I actually have it. Give me one sec. I'm going to see if I can find it. Hang on one sec. I think I saw this like just the other day.
So I have Sonic 3, the game box, and inside I have the instruction manual and Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh no. Am I am I like maybe I'm losing it. Or Nope, there we go. I'm dumb. But they did keep it. Uh the flame and lightning shields are swapped like the images for them. I was wondering if they were going to fix it and they did not. That's funny. Uh I misremembered it as being the Sonic three instruction manual it is the sonic and knuckles instruction manual uh but regardless still a fun little dumb thing to to you know have in there sonic illustrations from back in the day sonic sonic cd sonic 2 are these really different illustrations from the different games they look like they were made on the same day like oh my god This is how I shred life in the fast lane. 2017 fall winter Sonic style guide. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, these are fun. I'll get you, Sonic. <laughs> oh, these are all fun. These are very sweet. Oh, yeah. The 30th anniversary stuff. I need to start reading the IDW comics. I've been meaning to for a while. All right, we can buy... Jesus, we can buy a lot of stuff here. Why is there not just a... But there's literally a search because there's so many of these. Oh, my God. Why is there not a shortcut to buy everything? There's a hundred and four things here. Oh my god. Nope. Hey. And there's just enough dead frames that don't accept inputs that it's like... Everything feels like sticky. U UI-wise. UX-wise. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. If I... No, it just wraps around. I was like, please tell me that there's a way that you can just, like, uh, uh, scroll to the next one and then hit a button to buy it. And it's like, oh, it shows a lock sig symbol or something. Um, I thought Scrapnik Island already started. Did it not? Are they, are they not quite there yet? I thought I'd seen some stuff for it, but it may not be quite there yet. Yeah, no kidding. The A button's getting a fucking workout right now. Holy shit. Also, why does the normal collection have, have blue lights on it? I definitely looked at everything that I had available to me. Oh, my God. You can do it, game. I believe in you. I'll scroll back to that afterwards and see if there is... Oh, no. It's not, it's not going to count that I didn't look at every page in the manuals, is it? Oh, that'd be a real bummer. Nope, nope, hey. CD jacket art from Sonic Music C for Sonic Music CD released in nineteen ninety five. I was gonna say like that's the Sonic Chaos box art. Sonic the Hedgehog Boom. We're acknowledging Tails Sky Patrol and a bunch of the Game Gear games. Ooh, really crisp art. Of the triple wall, not that crisp. There we go. Bada boom. Of the Sonic Triple Trouble uh, artwork there. Oh, wacky worlds, jeez. Oh yeah, it is basically the uh, the adventure style Robotnik. He's he's a little bit more foreboding than in that one. It's sort of a half and half. They really didn't know which which Robotnik they wanted to go with for a while there. They had like four different versions of him all competing for uh, for the main spot. 
Oh my god. Three more rows. We can do it. Come on, A button. Stick with me, man. Nope. Hey. Alright. You can do it. You can get there. Nope. Come on. Oop. Oop. Alright, now before we go in there. Did I like just earn this moments ago or something? Alright, anyway. Magazine Harmony. It was an internally distributed magazine for Sega employees. Oh, that's cute. Got a bunch of, like, adorable Sonic art. This stuff almost looks like stuff from so uh, Sonic the Screensaver. More than anything else. This is very cute, though. Way cool! <laughs> Tails, let me in, I'm freezing! Or Sonic, let me in, I'm freezing to death! Sorry, Tails, it's my house. And I don't let vampires in. Well, speak of the de look what happened when I let a vampire in, Tails! I became a vampire! I'm a vampire! Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god. Sonic saving- <laughs> Tails, you can fly, I'm pretty sure you got this. Also, Sonic wearing the, uh, the crampon shoes there, with the cleats. Sonic claws. Oh, it looked like- it looked like Robotic was hanging onto the back wheel of Sonic's bike. I was very confused. I've got a lot of cool little artworks here. It's a hell of an engine on the uh, on the tornado there. God damn. Oh dear. That's not how you use a bidet, Sonic. Alright. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Sonic. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Sonic. Ooh. 1994 style guide, an illustration of Sonic published in a European style guide made in 1994. Look at those two rings linked together. I wonder if this was made during the period where Sonic Crackers was in development. Oh, were they actually using Sonic the Screensaver? Well, that explains a lot. There we go. He's also got a bunch of rings together. Hmm. Oh, man. We got the uh, the cartoon. We got the uh, Adventures of Sonic version of Tails running around, kind of. Oh, no, Tails. Why? Well, that's an interesting take on his uh, his machine. And also, worryingly realistic animals. Sonic floating like a piece of toast underwater. These are really haunted images. There's something about this that's, like, disconcerting and troubling. All right, we got some some box arts. Hey, there we go. Sonic Spinball. This is the 8-bit version because it uses essentially the adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog version of him as opposed to the Genesis one that doesn't. We got Sonic Drift. Everyone in their cars, including this Herbie-looking fucking car. All right, Sonic Drift, Sonic the Labyrinth. It almost looks like just the title screen. Sonic Triple Trouble. We got Sonic... Sonic Chaos. I don't remember ever seeing this. I've seen the one with him on the on the spring. I don't think I've ever seen that artwork. That might have been for Japan only. Ooh, character sheets. Sonic Boom. You got something in your eye there, bud. Alright. We got some Boss the Boss. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, actually, wait a minute. Mushroom Hill, Flying Battery, The Boss, Sandopolis, Lava Reef... Rings and Diamonds Land. Do they mean Hidden Palace Zone? Rings and Diamonds Land? Okay. Love You Sonic, Techno Power Mix, Dr. Giggly Men, <laughs> Brand New World, Number 8th Space, Miracle Blue Little Planet, when we reach for you, could it be right? Sonic Stream. Whoa, what? What the fuck? Virtual Sonic, Chaos Jam, Knuckle Mania, 
Battle of the Badniks, Boss Opera, Return to the Toxic Caves, Sonic and Knuckles theme, uh, Robotnik's Revenge, Metal Sonic, Sandopolis, Spinball theme, City in the Clouds, Sonic Triumphant. What the hell? Dreams, Dreams, Kids version. Dreams, Dreams, Acapella version. Super Sonic Racing, can you... Can <laughs> Yeah. Can you feel... Number one, Burning Hearts, Angel, We Are Burning Rangers. I just smile. Sonic, you can do anything. Cosmic Attorney, believe in yourself. Dream Dreams, sweet mix in Holy Night. Okay. Oh, God. They call me Sonic. Because I'm faster than sound, I keep on jumping around. Sonic Metropolis Trance Zone. Sonic Electronic. Sonic's Brain Scrap House. Oh, my God. What? King of the Ring, Extended. Rave Sonic, Wing Fortress, Rave Zone. Entering Death Egg Zone. Sonic and Tails, They Call Me Sonic Extended. Oh boy. King of the Ring, Radio Zone. Final Zone. Plus CD-ROM part, Sonic Video, Comics Zone game, and CD player software. I'm trying to remember, there was a song by a relatively popular band that was associated with Sonic for a while, like a band known in the West. Um, oh, God. Wonder, Wonder Man, I think, might have been the name of it. And it had nothing, it has nothing to do with Sonic, but, it, like, they did a music video that involved Sonic. Wonder Man, Wonder Man. Wonder Man. Wonder Man. I, I swear it sounds like I'm making shit up, but also the original early illustrations, you've got Madonna there in the red dress, a bunch of the early by right said Fred, thank you. Yes. I was I was like circling around. I was like, what the hell is the name of the band? Uh I guess what would have been the original bad guy with Robotnik there in like a B costume. Or maybe he's auditioning for, for Ness. Who knows? My name is Sonic. His name is Sonic. <laughs> ah, back in the Mr. Needlemouse days right here. Yeah. Hedhog. <laughs> Heedhog. Oh, man. My name. What does that other one say? Erster? Erster? I don't know. Is it like Nestor? My name is Nestor. Ah, uh, yes. The guy that became Robotnik. We have a bunch of other potential ones. I really wish that this one... I think his name was like Feel or something. I really wish that this guy would come back in like a... Uh, like a um, an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit sort of way. Oh, man. Oh, the goggles look pretty sweet, actually. Got some interesting stuff there. Look at the oh, those are the goggles on the on the left. There is like are those just big googly eyes. The Sonic family that thankfully never became a thing. Oh, those are color references. I'm like, why is there a pink circle one pointing directly at what I have to assume is Sonic's mom's chest? Oh, this is haunted. Why does he have a gorilla relative and a bear relative? Okay, this is this, the Sonic family here looks a bit more like uh, Sonic's band, at least in part. We've got someone who looks a lot like Knuckles on the right there. We've got Sonic Shadow Goku in the middle. We got Vec wearing a wearing a helmet. We got what could potentially be an early uh, Bark the Polar Bear. We got Charmy on the side. It looks like this is this got the Chaotix kind of started. Oh yeah, this one I don't like. This one I kind of do. All right. Uh, Registration between Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and Dr. Eggman at the time. No, I'm, uh, at the time, Knuckles hadn't been created yet, so Rival was written. Okay. With a uh, big floopy hair. Oh, different uh, the different uh, shields and things. Hey. Nice. Oh, that's fun. All right, we got some reference sheets. Oh, that's a fun thing on the bottom there. It's a very Mickey Mouse aesthetic, which Sonic obviously takes some some cues from. 
Ah, I love that laughing one that shows up in a lot of places. Ah, supersonic, Tails, doing his best. Knuckles. That say flesh? Yeah, red, red, chrome, yellow, flesh. All right, we got Amy Rose. This one, I'm pretty sure, was just used verbatim for Sonic Game World. I'm pretty sure that's her, you know, the sprite, the, they use the sprite of that as her talking to you. Metal Sonic, Robotnik, doing some things. <laughs> Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, hey. Which wound up being the name for uh, the arcade game featuring Mighty and Ray and Sonic. Oh, we got some reference sheets from the, uh, yeah, from the opening of Sonic CD. That's yeah, fun. Oh, nice. Little planet stuff. It's funny because it's like, you, you never see a view like this, really, but it's cute that they have it like this. Just cool. Ah, some Metal Sonic stuff. All right, neat. Oh, sound effect priority list. Oh, that's interesting. Makes sense that you want to have that. Ooh, no. That's an odd look for him there. I'm glad they went with what they did for, uh, for, uh... Oh, hey. It's our boy from Sonic Mania. We are getting Sonic Mania Adventures, uh, references and things. That's cool. Nice, nice. Hey, Mighty and Ray. Oh, I love this look for Sonic. Honestly, all of them. The Sonic Mania Adventures art style might be my favorite look for animated Sonic. Oh, man. Oh, it looks so fucking good. All right. Sonic Origins. Looks very good. I still like the Sonic Mania Adventures ones slightly better, but this is a pretty goddamn good one. Uh you know, as a as a number two. And the background's for Sonic Origins. And then just other stuff. Alright. Neat. Sonic Family is cast from the first Sonic manga. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, wow. They put the entirety of Sonic Mania Adventures in here. That's kind of a neat thing to have. Oh, needs me to at least start it for it to, for it to count. Also, the... At the beginning there is a nice little reference to Sonic CD. Outro for Sonic. Intro for Sonic CD. I love this one. This one's just great. I love the reaction. It was like, mm, no one saw this, right? Eh, whoops, something else. <laughs> nice. I would love to see more new stuff that's set during this like era, essentially, with more like animated stuff like Sonic Mania basically kind of did that I would love to see more stuff set around that kind of thing you know and the in-game in uh, outro and intro Sonic 2 Sonic 3 and Knuckles the funniest thing about this is from that little bong at the beginning you can tell that they literally just took the video that they put on YouTube, Sonic Mania Adventures Ep1.mp4, and just put it in this game. No tweaks were done to it whatsoever. Anyway. Because otherwise there's no reason to have that. And the, uh, this one's nice, the, the little Christmas special one that they had there. Alright, so there's 19. Oh, that's cool. They have animatics for uh, for Sonic Mania Adventures. That's neat. Uh, 
Oh, there's new something somewhere. Thankfully, we did have enough money for everything in the premium collections. I was a little worried that we weren't going to have enough. But lo and behold... Oh, we got some uh, Sonic Symphony stuff, too. What is this now? Is that actually what was on the screen, or is it being green screen? Uh, hard to tell. I feel like it's being green screened very carefully. I don't know. We're not going to spend too long on... on Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of Sonic 3 music in that one, I get the feeling. This is great. All right, we're going to we're going to skip on through a bunch of these. I just wanted to I just wanted to trigger them as being like scene, you know. <laughs> it's fun that they actually had the uh, the uh, the in progress stuff for for Sonic Mania Adventures too, because it's not like they were planning to hang on to them specifically for this, you know. Hey, it's an interesting one. So it looks like there were only five that were left. Defeat ten motobugs. Defeat ten stingers. Ten rhino bots. Clear ten Sonic CD missions with an S rank. Clear ten Sonic the Hedgehog 2 missions with an S rank. All right. Uh, we're not going to do that. 99%. <laughs> I think we'll just live with that. But there we go. That is uh, that is Sonic Origins. Bit of a heavy uh, finale for it, but there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually throw it to the island tour. Whoops, island tour mode. Or not? Did I hit the wrong one? After all that, open map is what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, I. Uh, I would love if they did some DLC for this that added a few things in, but beyond that, yeah, there we go. That is Sonic Origins. Uh, it's it's pretty generally very good. I, I don't know how to grade this because it's essentially a compilation of existing remakes or upgraded ports, I guess, remastered ports, and one new one, which ruins the soundtrack and has a bunch of extra bugs because Sonic Team put Head Cannon under a massive crunch. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. This is in some ways doing to me what Ocarina of Time 3D did to me for Ocarina of Time, which is I I, I don't know if this is the case, but there's a part of me that, that is less excited to play the Genesis Sonic games as a result of it being redone in this way? I don't know why. I don't know. I I feel like I could play Sonic Mania a thousand more times, but these ones, I don't know. There's something there's something tactile about the old Genesis games that just does feel like it's slightly missing here. I don't know. But they're still like they are they are the new definitive way to play the games. I hope they get tweaked and patched and fixed a bunch. Uh, and it'd be really good if they could add some things too. So We'll see. It'd be cool. I don't think they're going to add full games to it necessarily, but I wouldn't be sad if they added Sonic Mania into this at some point uh, as a DLC, because why not? Everything else already has the same basic engines going on here, but regardless, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to the new folks who are, who turned up for this for, for hanging out as well. Um, that's it for me for tonight. What else? Uh, today is Thursday. Uh, tomorrow, we're having our Patreon hangout. I just realized that's this week and not next week. 
So you can head to patreon.com slash dpad FM to see more about that. Uh, Sunday, I believe there's going to be more Neverwinter Nights with Jeff and the Sunday crew. Monday, I believe uh, Dave is going to be getting back into uh, Cult of the Lamb to finish that off. Tuesday, I'll be getting back into Kirby Tilt and Tumble with the GameCube and the Game Boy Player, and I'm going to get fucking ripped from the arm workout I get from that. Wednesday, I believe Jeff is getting back into an Indo uh, Wave of the Ninja. And Thursday, I'll be back for more Kirby Tilt and Tumble because I certainly won't be done by then. Uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out. I'm going to get out of here. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>